Good morning, good afternoon, good day, good evening, whatever it may be, wherever you are. So today, let's talk about one of the things I see questions about all the time on different uh, Boss RC600 forums and loop forums is how should I set my loop sync? Because some of the problems I keep seeing people say is, hey, when I hit start for my loop to start, if I already have something going and I'm like have a verse and a chorus here, like how I set up, I have my, my verse playing and I want to bring in my chorus, but I hit the play button and all of a sudden it starts in the middle of some kind of playback. Well, so let's talk about that for a second. So the way I have it set up, look at track one, you go over, and here you see loop sync. And I have it set to measure. And loop sync is on, measure is set to free, which means I can record any length of track that I want on this particular um, track. So track one and track two are both set to free, and I believe track three for my is set to three as well, or free as well. Um, but track four is typically what I set for just like cymbals or um, shaker con percussion type thing. I, I set that to measure, I and mean, we'll talk about that in a second. So measure is the most important thing you can set in here to make sure that you always have things in sync. Let me explain why. Uh, because it's tied to what you're looping. So if you set it to immediate, it immediately comes on, which you may or may not want. And loop ties it to the first loop that you set. So if like me, uh, on my Roland Hand Sonic, what I do is I set a, a rhythm and if I have it set to loop, it's going to tie to that, but it's going to be off tempo. So let's give an example. Let me show you. So back out of here real quick. So we'll come back. And here on track three, again, real quick, my setup. Track one is typically what I'll use for verse. Track two is typically what I would use for a chorus or just some kind of other ambient effects or just bring stuff in and out. But typically it's a chorus. Track three is normally where I'll start, which is my percussion. So I'll start with my roll in hand sonic, I'll lay down a rhythm, and that's what we have here in track three. And then track four is things like I just said, like um, cymbals or shakers or just some other one measure or something I wanna grab. Sometimes if I start with a guitar or a piano over here and I wanna bring in something simple, I'll just bring in a simple one measure rhythm, uh, either drum or whatever, that way it's just one measure, it's really quick, and also have it set to start immediately after the one measure, so I don't have to worry about hitting the button again. So ignore these buttons, this is, this would be the same as this, record play, this is record play, and this is stop, it's just the way I have it configured in the settings. If you look back on my previous videos, I talked about how to do that. So let's say we come over here and we start a rhythm. Boom, chick, boom, chick, boom, chick, boom, right? Now it's playing, there it goes. And then, coming down here to track one, now's when I'm gonna lay down my uh, guitar, or piano, or whatever. So I'm paying attention to where it is in the beat, and go. Now I'm tracking, right? And we'll go for a couple here, boom, ba-doom, ba-doom, ba-doom. And out, all right? So now it's playing, and it's synced to that. Now if I stop that, and you can see the rhythm is still going. That's track three. If I start it now for measure, watch. If I start it now, it doesn't start until bam, right there. Now it's in rhythm and in line with track three, right? Notice how it doesn't start. I can start it right there, right? What you want to do is you want to pay attention to your rhythm and right there, bam, then you'll be in sync. You can stop at any time, obviously. Right there, bam, in sync. If you start it here, see how it's blinking? It catches up to the loop. Remember, if this was... I did, I think, two measures, or one measure of this, it was two measures of this. So that's why it started, if you pay attention here, see? 
half, half. So watch again. Rhythm is going around. Bam, we're in sync completely right there. Okay. And if I start it here, it'll catch up there. Bam, see? So that's the beauty of measure. As long as you're paying attention to what your tempo is or your rhythm and where your the one, you know, the one beat is, then and you hit this with the measure set the way it is, you will always have your loop starting at the one, as opposed to in the middle of their sequence, whatever. Okay? So let's talk about the other way. So if we come in here, again, change it back. Go track one, go over. And let's say we start it to immediate. So now let's see what happens. So all right, come over here. We're gonna start a rhythm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then here we go. So now we have the rhythm going. And now we want to, we're following this, right? To know when to come in and start. So now we're recording. Recording. We'll do one more. In, out. All right. So now we're in, as you can see. This is a little shorter than this. So now we're going to stop it. And let's start it now. Look at that. We are completely out of time. This would sound like a jumbled mess if you, uh, if you had something going. Complete mess, right? It's not in sync. That's what happens when you use that. It starts immediately, okay? And you notice it starts, now some people may like this, it starts in the beginning, but it also starts in the beginning no matter where you are in this. Whereas if we had it tied to the measure, at least it was tied to the measure. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. I'm asking like you can answer me. All right, so let's clear this out. We'll stop the rhythm from playing. Now we'll come back in here, go back into track one, go over. So we had it set to immediate. Now let's see what happens if we set it to loop length. Okay, come out. All right, we're gonna restart the rhythm. There it goes, right? And we'll start recording loop one. It's recording, you can see the amber color. We'll get two measures of the, the rhythm. And play, all right. So let it go for a second. Now let's say we wanna bring it in here. Look at that. You gotta keep track of where that darn thing is. What would be nice is if Boss would make it so you could always see where that is, right? Right now what happens is you stop and you can't see it. It's still going in the background. You can't, you have no clue where that is. So let's start it. Yeah, that's exactly where you didn't want it to be. So you bring it in there and, well, your audience is looking at you with cross eyes wondering what in the heck you just did. So bring it out. And no matter where you start it, it's not in sync. So it's tied to the loop, right? Even if you start right on the one, you have no clue where it is. It's tied to its own loop, right? So you, can, you're, you have to remember where this is if you use the loop length. And I have no clue where it is, I'm guessing. Nowhere near it. Now it's there, right? So I hope that helps. Um, that's the way I have it set to measure, right? Because to me, it makes the most sense and keeps me on track of where I need to be save that just in case I botched it somehow. Well, oh, forgot to clear the rhythm. So one more time. So we'll walk through. We'll start the rhythm. And there we go. So you can see it's going. So follow this when you're trying to count in and do your own loop. And go. Bam.
All right, so now it's counting, 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 counting. We'll do one more measure. And out, okay? See it's going. Watch when it comes around. Bam, I'm in, and we're in time. Now, I know it's a little difficult to visually see it, but if you hear it, if you know that you have a rhythm playing, you can listen for that one beat. You know where it is, and you can always come in. If I come in now, I'm going to be off. See? But if you notice, watch what happens if I come in early. Well, i got to push the button. See, that's blinking. Now it'll come in. So it's tied to the measure, so you're always going to come in on the one beat. So that measure of the rhythm was played, I think it was an eight bar, and that's why you saw the bar coming in halfway through. Watch, watch again when I get halfway here. I click it, it's green, now it's coming in, right? So that was the halfway point for that, and it should come in right in sync with that rhythm. So I, I hope that helps you guys. I saw that question pop up at all kinds of places, and um, hopefully that answers some things. So if so, just leave me a comment, like, subscribe. Uh, I would love to see what y'all setups look like. Send me a link and I'll, I'll listen too and we'll collab, right? Take care, guys. Hope you have a great day and happy looping.